Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 3rd of May. It's 2017, and I am showing you a playlist that I have on my channel of, I don't know, 30, 30 or 40 videos on CERN alone. And I also have about 20 of them with Anthony Patch and myself covering CERN. Now, and I just put up an eight minute long video the other day, which was in response to another video that was questioning our reality, thanks to the information that CERN puts out. But here's the latest 411 on CERN. According to this article in the DailyMail.com, CERN has revealed it, is, it has supercharged the Large Hadron Collider as it begins its latest bid to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Now, what they're talking about is what I've been telling you about for just about two years now, which would be the AWAKE project. And this is a picture of it right here on CERN's website. And notice the 666 that just happens to be there the entire time. And take a look at all the various names that CERN uses for its experiments and facilities. Notice all these names all pretty much tie into mythology. And that's just all there is to it because that's what they're doing. They are literally trying to tear the veil. I say this so many times, it's like second nature. This is the 30 meter long linear accelerator that is attached to CERN's pre-existing Hadron Collider rings. This is on the edge. This is connected to the end of it. This linear accelerator, the plasma accelerator, will allow CERN to up its power from what it is now. And I've shown you an analogy basically before, and I'll show it you. I'll show it again right now. This is the best analogy that I can come up with. This would be representative of CERN before the Awake Project. This is what they're doing to the veil between spirituality and humanity. Watch this. Okay, you got it? They're slowly hammering away with it with the Large Hadron Collider and the rings. Now, this is what the Wakefield Project will allow CERN's Hadron Collider to do. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? CERN on its own can slowly shoot ions at the veil and try to break apart the quark gluons that are there. Now, with the advent of the awake linear accelerator, they can shoot a steady, rapid-fire succession and try to tear the quark gluons that hold together the veil between humanity and spirituality. It's the best analogy I can come up with. That's what the Wakefield Accelerator does. And again, back to the article, okay? After 17 weeks inactive, the Large Hadron Collider has started up again, and it will soon be performing better than ever. Now, let's remember this. Everything about the Particle Collider, everything about the Large Hadron Collider, everything about CERN is based on this hypothesis that they're going to recreate the moments right after the Big Bang. Now, you, me, and most people know that the Big Bang is nothing but a theory. It's a total, complete theory, and it's ridiculous. There was one day that, according to them, this is science now, one day there was nothing, and it exploded and turned into everything. And that's what they're going with. So keep that all in perspective. According to science, there was nothing, and then suddenly nothing exploded and turned into everything. And what they're trying to do with CERN, this is their stated mission, this is their stated goal. What they're trying to do with CERN is to recreate the moments right after the Big Bang, right here on Earth. So just listen to that. That sounds totally ridiculous. If, if it were a reality, they're going to try to create, recreate it on Earth. Sounds like that would be a bit devastating to Earth. But on that, I digress. So another thing is according to CERN's information. Now, we everything that people can glean, and I'm talking every single person you hear about on the internet, most people that are considered experts, quote unquote experts on CERN, have never, one, been to the facility. They have never, two, 
spoken to anybody that's ever worked it because nobody's ever come out in a whistleblower capacity. And that's just a fact. No one's ever come out. There's a couple of hokey stories floating around the interwebs about people that were there and they called the, the person running it mother and things disappeared. I've heard it too, but it's just a story somebody made up. So according to CERN, after 17 weeks inactive, that's all on their word. Now remember, Everything that they're telling us is a total, complete lie. They're not trying to recreate the moments after the Big Bang because they've never proven the Big Bang. So how do you recreate a theoretical event? You can't. What they are trying to do is what they've always tried to do. And if you notice, this is, the, this is looking straight down the barrel of Atlas. If you look through history and mythology, you'll find this exact pattern absolutely everywhere. For instance... Notice the eight spikes. Notice everything. Looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? And it shows up absolutely everywhere. They have simply and only recreated the temple, the Tower of Babel, except this time, well, as far as we know, because we're based this all on his story or his story, which turns out that pretty much everything we've ever learned is a complete and total, absolute lie. But according to history, the Tower of Babel was made out of bricks and stone, and God came down to it and decided to scatter people all over the world because everyone was speaking the same language, everyone was working together, and everyone, re everyone created the Tower of Babel. And God did not dig this. He said anything that people set their minds to, they can do. They were building this. This was built in a valley. So they weren't building a literal stairway, like trying to build the tallest thing so they could reach up into heaven. This was built in a valley. This was this. It's just an older version. And again, all we have to work off are the pictures that they, the holders of history, the people that keep everything locked up in the Vatican vaults, all we have to go off is the information that they've given us. So this could be totally farcical, but who knows? Seriously, who knows? There is evidence that it occurred, and there's also evidence. I mean, they build this into the, I think, the IMF. One of the bank buildings or one of the UN buildings is built in the exact same way. Maybe it's the EU. It is the EU. So they've built a modern day representation of it so that, yes, they are working on this. They are trying to recreate history. That's how we gather this information, because it's all we have. It's all we have. And again, no one's ever been there. No one's ever spoken to anybody that works there. But when you look at the information that the elites put out, this is one of them. What do you think that is? You see what I'm saying? OK, so I digress. Anybody that's reading off all this information and then going with it is simply propagating what CERN's putting out. That's it. That's all we have to go off, even if they are the white papers, because they are well aware. These people have been tracking, monitoring us through social media and everything else the entire time, and they can now make adjustments on a quantum level. They can make adjustments in a split second based on the reactions of people on social media. But again, I digress. This article is talking about maintenance work being done in December 2016, marking the beginning of the LH, LHC's extended technical stop. And according to the LHC, it's like an orchestra. Everything has to be timed and working very nicely together, according to Randy Stierenberg, who leads the operations group responsible for the whole accelerator complex, including the LHC. One of each of the parts is working once each of the parts is working properly, that's when the beam goes in, in phases from one machine all the way up to the LHC. Now, you can't help but notice everywhere you look in this building, every piece of information CERN puts out is loaded with occult symbolism. Right here, for instance, as above, so below. They've also put out information that makes it seem very plausible that they are indeed behind the Mandela effect or what people are perceiving as the Mandela effect. I've shown you that in videos in the past. I will leave links to everything in the description. I have gone over CERN ad nauseum for the last two years, and that's just all there is to it. But what they're talking about right here is they are referring to the Awake Project. 
Now, the fact that they call this the Awake Project and it's their supercharger, which makes sense if this is all what it seems to be. They're calling this the supercharger and they are going to finally find the proper mixture, the proper time, the proper alignment of the stars, the proper everything. Now, bear in mind that we have an eclipse that will look like the primordial Ogdo crossing the country very soon. And this article right here covers that. So on August 22nd, 21st, the sun will disappear for a short time. The swath for a swath of the country from Portland, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina, it will feel like someone just turned off the sun in the middle of the day. And it'll make a direct path across the United States diagonally. Now, in my opinion, I believe this is exactly when they're going to try to tear this, but I'm not buckling up. I'm not wrapping down the aluminum foil or tin foil tightly, but this is an enormous sign. And notice they're even, they're even drawing the eclipse to look like the primordial egg or the ogdote, whatever you want to call it. But again, back to CERN. They are supercharging this thing. They've been testing the Awake Project for quite a while. And again, those that think it's been shut down, those that are going by what CERN is saying, it's what CERN is saying. You know, on there, I mean, you're going to believe a, a corporation or a project that tells you they're trying to recreate the Big Bang the moments afterwards, even though it's only a theory. So how can you prove a theory, first of all? And second of all, their real goal is to tear the veil exactly like they did with the Tower of Babel, or they tried to do with the Tower of Babel, and we knew this was coming. And again, CERN puts out more information that backs up. CERN basically proclaims that they are an occult organization by everything that they do and everything that they say. I'm going to show you this clip again for the new subscribers that haven't seen it, but if you go to my playlist, I have dozens of videos on CERN with dozens of experts speaking about it. Again, this is symmetry. This is the video that CERN put out themselves. This is from CERN. This was filmed at CERN. And this basically shows in art form how they're using the Hadron Collider. They're doing all the proper occult dances. They're doing everything. And they're all lining it up with astrological and ancient mythology to indeed tear the veil. It all plays out. This is CERN putting this out. Now, if this is purely science, why are they using so much occult imagery consistently? Everything that they put out has something to do with dark, light, symmetry, and other dimensional. That's it. They've said it. The, the directors of CERN have repeatedly said that they are going to try to tear the veil, open a window. Something may come in. Something may go out. We've heard that time, 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 and time again. But what I'm saying is the people that hang their hats on the fact that CERN says a certain thing about something and they go with it as though it's real. We have no clue if CERN's been shut down the entire time. We don't know if CERN's up and running now. We don't know. Nobody does. And to, to this date, we've never had a real credible whistleblower come out of CERN and explain what's going on. So all we can do is watch, follow the signs and try to figure it out on our own. But based on the information that CERN's putting out and based on all the information that we've gathered, it appears that indeed they are going to try to do this. And it looks like August 21st would be a perfect time because it's a it's it's an amazing astrological activity that occurs. And it's one of the signs that we were told to watch for on the sun, moon and stars. And I think that's another big reason why they're constantly using chemtrails to block out the sun, moon and stars. I've traveled to the most re remote regions I could in the United States, and I'm talking in the middle of the deserts, I'm talking the top of mountains, and you still can't see the stars like you used to. It's just not possible anymore. They are blocking out the sky, they're doing this for a reason, and they're filling the atmosphere with plasma, which is exactly what CERN would need to do in order to tear the veil. But at any rate... According to the spokesman, Stierenberg, our aim for 2017 is to reach an integrated luminosity of 45 FB to 1. They reached 45 to 1 last year and preferably go beyond. The big challenge is that while you can re increase luminosity in different ways, you can increase the intensity per bunch and you can also increase the density of the beam. The main factor is 
actually the amount of time you stay in stable beams. Now, what he's saying goes back to the videos that I showed you. It's exactly like using a semi-automatic, which would be the Large Hadron Collider, shooting, shooting, shooting beams against the veil, trying to dislodge or break the bond between the quark gluons, and then hooking up the awake project to it and hitting it with a fully automatic machine gun. At any rate, I've gone on long enough. I think I covered this completely. I'm not exactly sure. Everybody's guessing. There are there's several so-called experts on YouTube and other formats that are simply saying the same thing they've been saying for years and years. Ad nauseum. Nothing new. No new information. But it does look like this will be a great time for them to at least try. It appears, and from what I've gathered from other researchers, it appears that they are ready at any given moment to simply flip the switch and let literal all hell break loose on Earth. But I think they're going to wait for this. And it's a big deal. At any rate, Richie from Boston, like, share, subscribe. Links to all the CERN videos will be in the description. And I am out.